Before the video starts, five winners, five five euro gift cards to go ahead and spend on any game on Aniba or get yourself closer to a game you want. And there are eight ways to enter to increase your chances. Starting right now, check out the link in the description below. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So after the Iron Man exclusive for PlayStation 4 was announced, of course the hype went straight up and then right back down after the word of VR was mentioned. And of course I did make a video about this about a week ago now and it is definitely safe to say in the comment section of that video there are a lot of mixed emotions and a lot of frustration including coming from myself about another superhero game but in a VR motion. Now it does turn out that it's not what we actually thought it was and that being similar to like a demo style VR game like the Spider-Man one or the Batman one and basically in a nutshell a superhero game that lasts a matter of minutes and of course then to like knock it down a little bit more it's a VR game but no they are actually taking it to a different level. Now the game developer goes by the name Ryan Payton actually said in an interview we're not making a row shooter we're not making an amusement park game and we're not making a short demo or an experimental Iron Man experience. We're making a full game with a deep sandbox, with a deep story, with plenty of great missions and great cinematics. Now, I guess what's frustrating in a lot of people's perspectives, again including myself, is the fact that we're getting a VR game. Alright, I mentioned this in the last video, it's like a VR game, the whole VR experience, definitely not as big as people thought it would be, simply because it's just not as fun. And surprisingly, it's a whole lot cheaper to make a VR game and of course, well, just less cost efficient and quicker to make than of course a full on game that is not VR. Now, the difficult part about this, which is probably one of the key things to mention is that will a lot of people go ahead and play this? Because if you own a PlayStation 4, which I'm assuming you do, if you're watching this video of course, the chances are you either have the PlayStation Move or the VR thing for the PlayStation or you don't and the chances are you don't actually want to go and get one purely for this game and it's really really one of those kind of like grey areas because VR games are definitely not what we expected them to be but the reviews for this Iron Man game I have to say are a whole lot better than anyone thought they would be. A lot of people are saying that it's a ton of fun and the cinematic trailer essentially that we got doesn't actually do justice. Now I believe the trailer we got and again the one you can actually see in the background is not actual gameplay so that's probably something to take into consideration but the question that it all leads to is now knowing that it's not a demo game and that it's not going to be a short experience and that essentially it's a full on VR game with a story and characters, cinematics, etc. Is it worth actually going and picking up? Now, we don't actually know the price for this game, or at least I don't anyway. So, whether it's going to be a free to download type of thing or you actually have to pay for it, which I kind of feel would be a situation, is it going to be worth it? So, me personally, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up after the reviews, okay? Because I don't have my PlayStation VR, alright? So, I am not definitely going to go and get one for this game to try it out and not actually like it. So, going off the first reviews we've got for the game, it definitely does sound very interesting. And I think that it does deserve a shot. I mean, I never really thought I'd say something like that, but... I think it does deserve a shot in the whole VR sector and just in general with the game of a superhero game. I mean, it's going to have its faults because it's a VR game, as you probably will expect. But if it's going to be completely different to all the VR superhero games we've ever got, and of course those just simply being demos, then it's safe to say it could seriously be an interesting experience to have. And it's been in the like making for two and a half years, so what's that? Maybe like late 2016, something like that? So when you think about it, it's got a lot of work into it. And from what we saw the trailer and the gifts we've seen, it looks good, but you won't actually know. It depends on what your whole feel is, you know, with VR games in general. But what still is frustrating is like, hey, the VR market is not as big as the gaming market in general, guys. So can you please make a superhero game that is not a VR game? Because truly, I'm really, no one actually gets hyped for that stuff. Until now, apparently. But guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already. Drop your feelings in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day. 
And are you going to get the Iron Man VR game is the main question. Like I said, leave your feelings about the game in the comment section below. But until the next one, adios amigos.